The following is going to be a tutorial on the uh, TinyCam Pro uh, app and how to uh, configure the uh, camera to the app and ultimately to configure the uh, camera to the router for unlimited range. Uh, so without further ado, the first thing that one needs to do is to install the uh, TinyCam Pro and uh, once that's done we'll close the app and uh, the next thing is to power up the camera. The camera with, is going to send a uh, Wi-Fi signal within a, uh, within a few minutes or less and we'll be able to pick up that signal from, the, uh, uh, from our phone. And we do that by going to our phone settings like this, settings, and uh, Within settings, go to Wi-Fi, and within Wi-Fi, we're going to go and look for the code number of the camera. Uh, in this case, it's AIS, begins with AIS, and that is just a pre-code, and but that's the one we're going to use to start the connection. Tap on that, and wait for the, uh, for the camera to connect to the phone, to be paired to the phone directly, and we verify that by seeing that there's a check mark next to uh, I, uh, AIS. At this point we're going to go back out of settings and we're going to uh, open the app. And here's the app, TinyCam Pro, tap. Uh, no camera has been connected yet, as you can see, no equipment yet. Uh, go at it and we do that by tapping on the plus sign next window that comes up uh, gives us options the one we want to choose is lawn search tap on that and this is going to search for that uh, for that camera signal and uh, from the app this time so uh, it's found it and this is the full code number now it's not just AIS it's that's the IP address of the camera and we're going to tap on that and we're going to hit confirm to bring that up. It's connecting, 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 connecting online. And you can see that. We can see that up here. Now if it took too long, if it kept on trying to connect but it wasn't connecting, then we could uh, we could we could speed that process up by hitting the arrow in the circle okay and uh, um, as you can see we're in live view right now this is what the camera is seeing and um, um, we're, we're connected between the phone and the camera we can adjust our resolution if we wanted to seven from 720 to 1080p or from 720 on down to a lower resolution we could uh, we could take snapshots of what the camera is seeing um, uh, by hitting snapshots or, or or saving video of what the camera is seeing directly to our phone. Now, in order to complete the uh, the unlimited connection to the router, we're going to hit the arrow key back and go to non-live view. That's the view that we had before. And we're going to tap on this on this settings. This being the app settings, not the uh, uh, not the phone settings as we had before. And I tapped a little bit high. I'm going to go back. And again, I tapped high. Difficult to judge my position here. And here we go. Uh, third try being the charm in this case. It's just a matter. It's a little bit awkward to uh, to uh, do this while I'm filming. Um, okay, so now we are in our settings for the camera. As you can see, there's Wi-Fi configuration, alarm configuration, micro SD card configuration, and we're going to start off with Wi-Fi configuration. We're going to open that up. And uh, of course, we're going to need uh, to know what the router is at the location that we that we've placed the camera and the password for the router. In this particular case, for this location, this is the router that I'm going to pair it to, match it to, connect it to, and I'm going to tap on that. 
and then I'm going to enter the password for that router. Okay, so I'm going to also make it visible that I can see what I'm doing. So far, so good. Oh. And still good, looks okay. I'm gonna hit return. And then we hit next. And now it's going through the connection process. Now this could go all the way to 100% or hang at 10 percent. So we'll give it a little while here to complete the connection. And by a little while I'm meaning a minute or two. And uh, let it do it by itself. If it doesn't uh, connect by itself within a minute or two then I'm going to speed up the process by opening and closing the app. Okay. So this is this this initial connection tends to be uh, tends to be um, a little bit less uh, less consistent, okay? Than when we connect it to later on, that that uh, doesn't is not as is is hit and miss or slow. Now this is really not hit and miss per se, but that first connection always always takes longer to uh, to set up. So I'm not going to wait anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close out. And I'm going to reopen TinyCam Pro. And I'm going to close out again. I'm going to reopen TinyCam Pro. And as you can see, I did that now, what, three times? And now I'm going to tap on the, uh, on the arrow in the circle, which is what we did uh, earlier. Okay, and... Here it is, now we're in live view, and we're in live view uh, through the internet, meaning the camera is transmitting uh, information that's going through the router and then the internet, and that's being picked up by the phone uh, through an internet connection. So it's unlimited range. Now, at this point, if we want to go back to the settings to make some additional adjustments, we can do that. Go to settings. And we did the Wi-Fi configuration. We could go into alarm configuration and set the uh, and there it is uh, setting it to medium high maximum low or off entirely uh, now I'm going to go to uh, uh, to uh, micro SD card configuration this would allow us to record automatically when there's some uh, activity uh, in the area and we can uh, we would then go to recording mode right now it's by default at full time let's set it to alarm I can I can uh, adjust the uh, the uh, the length of each clip the quality and I can have it over record when the memory is full and that would always be a good idea to leave that alone uh, at, uh, at, uh, at loop record okay uh, we're going to go back and back and back to our live view. And that is the, uh, uh, the general um, uh, guide to uh, setting up.